Good morning. Who was more obedient, the nation or the Rechabites? Our reading today is Jeremiah chapter 35, verses 12 to 16. Then came the word of the Lord to Jeremiah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction to obey my words, says the Lord? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, which he commanded his sons not to drink wine, are performed. For to this day they drink none and obey their father's commandment. But although I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking, you did not obey me. I have also sent to you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Turn now everyone from his evil way, amend your doings, and do not go after other gods to serve them. Then you will dwell in the land which I have given you and your fathers. But you have not inclined your ear nor obeyed me. Surely the sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them. But this people has not obeyed me. So the Rechabites were more obedient. And that, that simple lesson, is exactly the lesson that God wants to convey here through his servant Jeremiah. The Rechabites have been able to sustain obedience to a merely human command, the command of a human ancestor, for more than two centuries. But the Hebrews, commanded by God himself, for centuries, through the written word and a long stream of faithful prophets, with the priesthood and the temple and the monarchy, all the, all the different helps God has given, have been unwilling to render obedience to their protector and deliverer. And how is this remarkable contrast between obedience and disobedience, success and failure, possible? Maybe the answer has something to do with who's being served. The Rechabites were maintaining the tradition and the honor, family honor, of their ancestor. The kingdom of Judah was spiritually diminished. The various sections, the priests, the false prophets, the monarchy, were all kind of out there serving their own interest. The various sections of the nation were each servicing their own priorities and agendas, which always kind of boils down to self-service, doesn't it? In the end, they were serving nothing higher than their own flesh. They were on that singular path to nothing less than ultimate self-destruction. God couldn't protect them. They were defenseless. They were, they were in over their heads. Here they are. They're engaged in spiritual battle with, with supernatural beings that are so much stronger than themselves, but they're on their own because by their behavior, God can't protect them. But God could protect the Rechabites. Their minds were clearer too. They were never inebriated, you know, by drinking the wine. These were people who lived uh, a simple lifestyle, nomadic lifestyle, a lot of self-control going on here. Since they were never inebriated, their minds were more under the control of the Holy Spirit and of their own ability to choose and make choices according to free will, was preserved. And so the Rechabites were really on vantage ground to fight these spiritual battles. Always in control of their faculties, always sober, puts you way ahead in the battle with fallen angels. This whole thing is God making a very simple contrast lesson. And what is he proving? He's proving that obedience is possible. The Rechabites are a concrete demonstration that obedience is possible. In fact, they're a lot like another group of end-time believers God is preparing today. You read about them in Revelation chapter 14. People who are sober, Holy Spirit-filled, and faithful. And you and I can be part of that group. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you're making a simple lesson here. Very simple. So simple that a child could understand it. The obedience of one group contrasted with the disobedience of another. Lord, help us to be like the obedient group. Help us to be faithful. The Rechabites are actually a, a preview of what you're doing at the end of time for people who, who want to be close to Jesus, who are willing to, to surrender all to Jesus and are willing to follow him through all that comes in these last days. Help us to be right, Lord. Help our hearts to be right. Help us to take in this lesson, this simple lesson of the, the power of obedience and self-control and receive this blessing you so richly want to give to us. Thank you for your mercies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Rechabites were more obedient, and their obedience showed there was no excuse for the kingdom of Judah's spiritual failure. Take heart. God be with you today.